A quick welcome to everyone who recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. And if you haven't yet, why not? You might as well because you will be amongst like-minded people. So what have you got to lose? Now Richard Tice posted on his Twitter account, oh X, it'll always be Twitter, won't it? Some startling revelations about the Tories and their dirty campaign against reform. And you know, I wouldn't put this past the Tories one bit. And quite frankly, I would believe any allegation now of any wrongdoing against Nigel Farage and the Reform Party because the most ridiculous things have already been tried. For example, the fake reform uh, canvasser racist who was hired by Channel 4 to smear Nigel Farage and reform. That's like something out of a carry-on movie. And the hits just keep on coming. Anyway, Richard Tice wrote on his account that the Tories have been offering bribes to reform candidates. Now remember, I mentioned in a video recently of the reform candidate in uh, Earwash who made false allegations against reform and Nigel Farage before resigning, dropping out, and then conveniently endorsing the Tory candidate instead. Well, it turns out that fellow lied to reform to secure his nomination in what's believed to be now a clearly planned stitch-up. So I wonder what the Tories offered him. I think the old term, never trust a Tory, is getting truer by the day, especially during this general election campaign, don't you? He also revealed that uh, yesterday a senior Tory former Member of Parliament offered the reform candidate in her constituency a job as part of a team if he spoke badly of reform and Nigel Farage and then stand down and resign. So what this Tory did was she recorded this conversation secretly, gave the tape to the press, but then conveniently excluded the bit where she bribed him. Now all this follows a case where a reform candidate who withdrew his nomination papers back from the council on the 7th of June. Now this was just minutes before the nominations closed and this guy <laughs> stood down and endorsed the Tory uh, candidate instead. How convenient. And I think all these allegations are proved because uh, a Dudley candidate rejected a corrupt offer of a safe council seat and a job from the local Tories if he withdrew. Now there's more to follow on this. Uh, people will be named and hopefully there will be prosecutions because this is blatant election interference. And I'll tell you what, I've never seen a political party in the UK during a general election campaign face so much flack in all my life. I mean, I remember in North Wales the Tories were despised, but they didn't face anything like this. Then again, maybe we were more civilised up until the, the noughties or the late nineties. So just when you think the Tories couldn't sink any lower, they do. Uh, and they're doing this because they are the other cheek of the same arse, sharing it with Labour. And they have been on top of the political pile for so long, they couldn't bear to have a new party like Reform show up, make waves under Nigel Farage as it is, and show them up for what they are. Labour and Conservatives, they would rather have each other in uh, opposition or in government than have anyone else take their place, and that's why they're doing this. They are doing absolutely everything. The Uni Party, that's what they are, they're the Uni Party. There's little difference between them. They're doing absolutely everything they can uh, to blacken Reform and Nigel Farage's name and save their skins. What a horrible general election campaign this is. Dirty tricks galore. And I promise you, uh, the election's only on Thursday, but there'll be more to come, and they'll be worse. This is really, really bad. And there we go. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, remember, subscribe, share, comment, like. Look after yourselves and Roger Trout.